Hello all automation lovers. I'm trying to share my skills in the most practical user Siemens fields programming. So please subscribe and share my videos. This is a part three video that continued from creating a function block that used for controlling many downforce ability drives. On this part, I'm going to show you the testing of the program. Okay. So first, let's see the wiring here are two dumb possibilities and here is the Siemens 307 CPU and here is my programming cable let's see the hardware or the wiring here is the Siemens 300 CPU and here are the two damp hoses. Okay, so the wiring looks like this one. The profit bus that come from the CPU goes to damp hose one, then go to damp hose two. Okay. The address of the dump hose is assigned by DP switches, as you see here. This one, so this will be set to 10 by switching the DP switches. So let's load our program first. Okay, then it's now loaded. Let's first run drive one. Okay, now let's run first forward. Now it's running forward drive one but drive one is drive two is still stop okay let's stop let's active quick stop so the motor will sorry Okay, yeah, the motor is now stopped. When I release kick stop, it will run again. Okay. Let's stop, stop the motor by now it's stopped. Okay. Let's run the motor. Forward, reverse, sorry. As you see, it's running on negative, that means on the counter counterclockwise direction. Okay, if we again active the quick stop, it will stop again. Okay, stop it now. It, when we release again, quick stop, it will run reverse. Okay. Let's stop the drive now. Okay, stop it now. Okay. Let's go for a uh, drive to. Let's test for drive to again. Let's run forward first. It's running. When I make it 
active for the kick stop, the dry will stop. As you see, the speed is zero now. When I release the kick stop, it runs again. So, we can also stop by deactivating drive enable or run forward. So, when I release this one, drive is now stopped. Good. Let's run the drive forward reverse now by activating the reverse. The drive is running the reverse now. That's good. When I activate the kick stop, it will stop. Yeah, it stopped. When I release again the kick stop, it will run. So it's running in reverse. That shows minus 600. Okay, that's good. Let's make it stop. So let's check one thing again. Let's make the dump hose local off. So as you see, local operation is active here. When I even try to run the dump hose, it can't run. It gives some error. So to run, this must be auto or release it. Okay, great. I have uh, done the testing. Everything looks good. Thank you for the watching.